Hey guys, we're back with another video. So, I wonder what we're gonna do today. So I have an order for a fishing cup. So I figured I'd show you guys how I do my wood grain fishing cups. So they requested a 30 ounce. Um, I went ahead and I already prepped it and um, my prepping wood is uh, cleaning it, making sure there's no stickers, get all the stickers off. Um, taking my sand block, giving it just a little scrapey scrape, and then taking some alcohol and just cleaning it, sterilizing it. Then taking my Rust-Noleum uh, white uh, paint with the primer in it, spraying it really, really good. Um, basically, it's gonna give so that the alcohol ink will stick to it. So that's what we're gonna be doing on this video. So I hope you guys stick around to find out how this cup turns out. And before I get started though, we're gonna, I'm gonna go, I have quite a few um, colors and for the alcohol inks, I'm just gonna figure out which one I like. So along the way I have learned that the alcohol inks, if you don't let them fully cure and dry, um, and then when you go and you take your spray paint and you spray on it, it's gonna turn green. I don't care. It's just gonna turn green, which makes it harder for you because that's not the color you were going for and you're like, oh my God, now my cup is green. But I have realized that if you let it fully dry, so I usually let mine dry an overnight dry, and then um, I give it a seal with my clear paint and then usually I'm fine. But I have done it to where it's not full, you know, fully dry and then I spray paint it and then it turns green. So I recommend you giving it time to dry. Um, everybody might have their own experience with it. I just know that that's what I've learned um, in the time that I've been doing cups is that you just wanna let the alcohol ink dry. Okay, so I want it to be a dark, so I think I'm gonna use espresso or caramel. So I'm gonna be in between these two colors, putting them on my tumbler and yeah. So this one is the caramel, if you guys can see. Okay, and then this one is espresso. Let's see if you guys can see that. So these are the two that I have, um, latte and ginger. I think the ginger will probably turn um, yellow even without the spray. So we're not gonna do that. Sometimes it's best to just get you a paper towel or um, something and then spray paint it. This is how I've done it in the past is I've spray painted let's say my, just a piece of paper, and I've spray painted it white, let it dry, and then put a sample of these on there, and then you'll see what it will look like. And then take your clear spray and spray it so that you could see what's gonna happen if that spray is on that alcohol ink and if it's gonna turn or not. I have done that because I have ran into problems with it actually turning. So you don't wanna do that, definitely don't wanna do that. All right, so anyways, let's just have some fun and let's get this um, cup into wood grain look. All right, let's get going. Okay, so the supplies that I'm gonna be using is just the two, the espresso and the caramel, which I might end up using just one, but I'm gonna decide in between. And then you want to use a brush that's kind of, I don't even know how do you describe this, but it's kind of stiff, but you want it to be able to just flow. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the, the tops off. This is actually a fun project to do. <clears throat> so you do want to spray paint these though, that way it gives it a good texture for the um, the alcohol ink to stick to it. If you don't spray paint this and you was, you know, just to leave it with the stainless steel, it wouldn't stick. 
So that's one of the reasons why you definitely want. All right, so I'm gonna show you this one first and then we might switch. So this one has like a yellowish to it. I don't think I'm gonna use this one. I think we're gonna go with one of more of the brown ones. So let me show you guys. It's got a, it's almost got a greenish. The good part is, is like, if we don't like this, we can always use one of the other ones and cover it up. You won't even notice. But it dries really fast, so you gotta just rub it in there. All right, so let's do this one. This one is the caramel. Oop. You're just gonna, this one has that light. This one's actually pretty. The other one is pretty too, but it's just not, it just depends on what look you're going with. If you're wanting that moldy wood look, that's going to be yours. Uh, let's see what the latte looks like really quick. Might as well, right? We're going to put a little bit right here and let's just play around. Okay, and this one has more of a yellow look. So now we got to decide which one. I think I'm in between. So I'm thinking about doing the latte one. <clears throat> or I'm sorry, the caramel. And then taking this other one, this espresso, and kind of do both. So it gives it that, well, I think this one's gonna be too light. All right, so we have ginger that's left. So let's do ginger real quick. Let's do some ginger, guys. That's the good part is you can just play around with this all you want. I don't know, I like this one too. What do y'all think? Like you guys can answer me right now. Hmm. Maybe I'll do the ginger. Maybe we'll do ginger and um, caramel. So we'll do this one and this one.
this dry overnight it's nice and dry um so now it, i've already sealed it it didn't turn luckily but i love how i put the two different actually there's three different so i went ahead and added a darker couple marks on there and it looks so good i love how it turned out so we're gonna go ahead and i don't know if you guys can see it or not um I'm not really sure if you can, but it's a fish um, on a fishing line. So we're gonna go ahead and weave this. Yes, yes, Zeus. Zeus is right here. He'd like to say hello, come here. Say hi. <laughs> say hi. So I have to have my mommy's attention anytime she's doing anything. transfer paper on it pressing it down Ugh, this is the fun part guys you gotta get it down a certain way just so it will lay
all right guys so now i've already added my epoxy i wanted to show you guys after um applying the epoxy and the heat gun to it what it looks like i love it it's turned out so nice with all the different um angles designs of the wood grain i hope you guys really um, enjoyed it as well so i did struggle with the vinyl but it is what it is you know hope you guys liked it wanted to show you guys what the cup looks like now it's done it's ready to be delivered it turned out really good um i love it i think it's it's a process but this decal is could be a challenge so um some people do it in two parts but i didn't want to take it apart too much but i think it turned out really good so you guys let me know what you guys think um if you have any suggestions on you know how to do something this complicated but yeah look turned out really good i think the person who is getting this cup will really like it so with that being said, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, click the, uh, sh the bell, and make sure you share the videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.